What's up, y'all? Said African Geek here. Welcome to my channel. Let's dive right into the Batman. This is my review for the Batman. Matt Reeves did it. He created the noir detective story that he wanted to tell. Like the cinematography. Oh my god, it was phenomenal. Oh, this show was beautiful from the beginning to the end. And the callbacks they had from Riddler looking through the binoculars to Batman looking through the binoculars. The Mr. Rex to thinking that's Bruce and his family playing Zorro, but it's it's Riddler's first victim. Ah, the way Bruce Wayne showed up at the Iceberg Lounge, the way Batman showed up at the... There were so many callbacks, you know, yeah. Like, we revisited, revisited a lot of scenes in this movie that made Gotham feel like a character. If you play the Arkham games, you know how many times you go back into the church, you go back into the scene, you go back into the scene, and it changes every time. The way Batman interacts with people changes every time, like... Gotham really felt lived in in this movie. The only problem I really had with this movie was Bruce Wayne's portrayal. Like, Robert Pattinson is a phenomenal actor, but his Bruce Wayne and Batman were so similar in this movie that when he was outside of the Batman suit, which he wasn't that much outside of the suit, it was so 98% Batman in this movie, and I loved every second of it. His Bruce Wayne didn't feel different to Batman, the persona. Emo, ba Emo Bruce Wayne felt like Batman. So it was kind of like jarring when people were treating him different as Bruce Wayne and treating Batman like shit, like the cop at the beginning of the movie stopping him by the door. Then that same cop greeting Bruce with smiles, but Robert Pattinson's portrayal was the same throughout. And it was jarring for me. I didn't like it so much because I, from the comics, from other interpretations, like my favorite Bruce Wayne is Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne. Maybe his Batman is not my favorite Batman, but his Bruce Wayne, oh, like he knew the importance of Bruce Wayne being in the game for 20 years. Maybe that's the difference because he's year two Batman. He doesn't know the importance of Bruce Wayne, the, the doors that opens for him in his detective work. But it was still phenomenal. Paul as a Riddler. Uh, Zoe as Catwoman, phenomenal. Oh my God. Colin Farrell probably stole the show for everybody, including me. That was a phenomenal portrayal of Penguin. Like, that was not Colin Farrell at the end of that movie. I don't think he slipped up even once. I was, I was so... Th oh my God, the car chase was phenomenal. Even though Bruce basically was cool with people in cars blowing up. <laughs> a lot of people have been talking about that. Um but it was still a phenomenal portrayal. Uh, what else? Am I missing something? The mystery of it all, if you know the Telltale Batman series, um, a lot of the new 52 stories, uh, you know about the Martha and Arkham connection. You know, there's, it was a character piece of Bruce Wayne and Batman showing that there's some craziness with him on top of that. It's not only the Arkham like occupants that are crazy. There's some crazy in Bruce's family and Thomas Wayne and the white knight Bruce, you know, thought he was like that story has been explored so many times in the comic medium and the game medium and even the TV show medium that when it happened in the movie, it wasn't like a shock for me. It wasn't the first time I've heard the story. So the mystery wasn't that groundbreaking for me but it was still well told within the confines of this film like this film as a whole the nirvana and the doom 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 soundtrack even emo bruce even though i complained about him worked for the movie but as a comic book fan this movie was almost the perfect batman film if his bruce wayne had more nuances to him even selena car every time she changed a wig when she was the waitress collecting the 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 drugs or when she went the under club and she was flirting with the DA the way she is this cat woman like there were so many nuances in her performance like every time Selena put on another wig she felt like somebody else every time she took out the wig she was herself even the Riddler every time he was in the mask he was over the top scary 
But when he took off the mask, you saw the insane level of him when he was like, no, 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 when he was getting interrogated. Right? Even that scene where Riddler keeps saying Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne, and Rob Pattinson is performing with his eyes and the stillness of the camera. And he, he's like, oh man, I've been caught. Even in the apartment when he saw his pictures everywhere and didn't want the cops to notice that the Batman and him could be connected. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the it because his Bruce Wayne was so bad man in this movie that of course he'll panic every time there's a clue that he could be connected in some way to Batman because there's no nuances in him defending, like being different from him and Bruce Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I it just that's the only problem I have. Like legit, this movie is a nine point five. The five is legit the Bruce Wayne portrayal. And the fact that I kind of knew the mystery before going into this movie. So when the mystery was like revealed to everybody, I was like, I already knew all this, you know, Gotham corruption thing. But I will say Gotham, this was the most well-realized Gotham outside the Gotham show on Fox. Because the, the Fox show obviously was well-realized because that show had so many seasons and so many characters, so many living civilians. But goddamn. Even the Joker tease was underwhelming because of the laugh, weird enough. Like, his dialogue, uh, Barry's dialogue was, was selling me how he referenced the clown and whatnot. There was so, like, nuances, like, the dialogue. But when he came, when he laughed at the end, I was like, God damn, his laugh is not that unique. Given Jared Leto's, no matter what you say, his laugh was more unique than... It felt like a normal dude. Like, <laughs> so many realistic things about this movie felt too normal for what a Batman comic could be. But it also is the closest to a Batman comic we've ever gotten. I feel like other Batman portrayals have been so superhero-like. I feel like this one is really the visual anti-detective story that most Batman fans ever wanted. Like I said, 9.5, really enjoyed this movie. Um... Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I really want to do like a video essay or something of this movie. Really breaking it down smartly. This is just the top of my head. Like write notes and stuff like that. Tell me if you want, want that or you just fine with this review. Even if you check out this review or not. Anyway, like and subscribe. I really enjoyed this movie. Like I said, 9.5. This is the best Batman movie. But he's still not my favorite Batman because of his Bruce Wayne. Hope that makes sense. Deuces.